Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for coming on and waiting for me. Uh, I really appreciate it when I see you guys waiting for, there were like four people waiting for the actual stream to start. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys that are here. Welcome. Um, let's get on the old dashboard view. There we go. Don't know why that's what's going on there. Hang on a second. Display. There we go. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I came for. I love this. I love this from Montana. Uh, <laughs> I came for the climb. I stay for the rage. I absolutely love it. So true. Uh, I'm going to try and control myself this time because, um, yeah, looking back on the other video that I did recently, uh, the other stream I did recently, obviously I was doing okay. I was losing games, but I was in good spirits. And then that last kind of game just triggered me a lot and got me really annoyed. But today we're not going to focus so much on the climb to 1500. Of course, we are going to still be playing on ranked, but we're just going to try and focus on three sieves that I want to kind of play a little bit more uh, in readiness for the tournament that I am currently uh, part of, which is the Caverna Combat 3 tournament. I have put a link down below. It's like a little kind of sort of leaflet or pamphlet or kind of document just going over the event and all this kind of stuff. And you can join the Free Food Party Discord and I think all the information is there as well. Um, the registration is closed for it obviously now and on Twitch I think it's being streamed on the Free Food Party channel over there. So I will be, I think I'm going to be doing my matches this weekend and I imagine it will probably be casted next week at some point. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, it looks like my mic is kind of like that's the straight that's straight that's definitely not straight so something's going on with my monitor probably um but yeah so that is the situ anyway let's get into some games and um i just want to check my deck for aztec because i kind of want to play aztec uh yeah i think i'm just gonna go with this deck here that looks fine Um, yeah, it looks fine. That deck looks fine. Uh, or maybe actually. Oh, I think that's fine. I'll show you my su superior native play if we match, would you? Of course. Of course. I'm pretty sure that's you, Morlazan, isn't it? I think Montana, you're more Lausanne. Some, some of you guys, like your names change from YouTube to Twitch. So um, yeah, tunes are immaculate. When do we get that Spotify drop? Yeah, so these tunes, by the way, guys, if, if you're a streamer or like if you're a content creator and you want royalty free music, then Stream Beats basically have you covered. Um, it sound, kind of sounds like a plug, doesn't it? But uh, no. Um, they uh, they are really good. So if you go on Spotify under Stream Beats, you can find all these different kind of genres, and they're they're all made by Harris Heller, who has a YouTube channel as well, and um, I use them quite a bit. Actually, I haven't really tried the rock one out. It's not bad. How can join game online? Um, so. Yeah, so I'm not going to be... I'm just going to be playing ranked. So I'm going to be playing anyone that's on the ranked ladder at the moment. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you do want to play the game or if you haven't played the game yet, it is actually free to play. So you can actually go on there right now and play it. Uh, the British are going to be released soon. I might do a, a YouTube short just to do a quick introduction to the British. What they're good at, like their mana boom, um, you know, their mana houses, their longbows their rockets in H4, all this kind of stuff. So people that are basically um, wanting to know can know. So it's got a bit of rock now. So yeah, you got to love that. If I do get really annoyed, um, I might just cast some games. There's a few games that I do want to cast and I was going to cast them off stream. 
Um, so, yeah. Potentially, we could do that. So, we'll just have to see. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go. There we go. So yeah, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to just put a house down. Um, we could mine for the hunting dogs, uh, but I kind of just don't want to. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to put just a double house down. It's not a controversial thing to do. The double house. Um, it's definitely not a controversial thing to do the double house. It is an option. It's going to take note of how we're doing our hunts here. Okay, I'm just going to go for this one here. Don't really know how to um, how to really do how to play against Russia here. To be honest, but we'll see how it goes. We do have quite a lot of. Uh, we've got a few minions here, so we're going to use these. One hundred percent of it's got a hunt there. I believe there might be a hunt at the back here, but I can't say for sure. We'll just go over here. A bit of more. I think it's I think it's 15 villager, but once again I don't know for certain, and I don't know if he's going to rush me either. So we just need to see what he's up to. I'm going to go for the. Um, he's up very fast. Too, I, think. I say. I say. I say. I say. Some of us are going to start doing that. I don't know. Actually, get that treasure over there. Okay, well I'll go and get that in a minute. Uh, we're going to immediately ship the wood. And we're going to put like... So we definitely need more people on food. That was an uh, error. It's okay though. Let's have a look at the uh Let's have a look at the old deck here. Oh, 
Ask me. Iku. Ask Comanche. Comanche. Ask me. 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 Ask Come <laughs> I think he might be doing like a fast fortress, which could be a problem. For us. We we'll have to see. Yeah, he's going okay, all right, he's gone double. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come Oak, 
Let's try and do this. Oh wow. Okay. I thought that would have done very well. I guess not. I guess not. I think we just go. Yeah, it is rough. I mean, we not we might need to go for the next age up potentially. I'm just gonna see how it goes. It wasn't the best engagement for us. Yeah, we could do war dance, but we don't really have the warrior priests. So probably my next move after this is I'm hoping that he invests more in. Oh, come on, say, oh, come on, say. Yeah, one a little bit. There we go. We are a little bit all over the map here, to be honest. He feels down here. Definitely need to get more. Get you guys on here. And let's. Batch in. See, that is unfortunate. Yeah, he's gonna. We need to do some reading of our own. Hopefully, he's gonna lose all of that. コマンドイコオクオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマンドイコオクコマ
It's not going to be the best engagement. Save the warrior. Yeah, we got way too much. It is okay, but it's not okay at the same time because we kind of need to keep them over there if we can. It is a slow age up. That is the problem. Oh, he's actually doing it. Okay. Yeah, this could be... Uh, wow, yeah. I don't think I've won this. Wait, there were Vils in yeah, that is unfortunate. It's the age two Russia. Russia is tricky for me. Yeah. It is a very tricky sieve to beat. I don't... Yeah, I, I, I find it a hard matchup, to be honest. I mean, I think early on it's okay because you have coyotes. By the way, welcome, everyone. 30 viewers in. By the way, make sure to drop a like, guys. Uh, it really, really helps. Make sure to drop a like if you are enjoying the stream. Get set out there. Thank you so much for everyone coming on. Back to 1300. Well, I'm not actually playing my main civs at the moment. So I am kind of playing the slightly different civs because of the tournament that I'm currently in. So I do expect to lose some games. Uh, the calendar card, yes, I have. I think it's very situational. Um, I like... I mean, I did the fast age up here. Maybe I could have gone for the slower age up for the war hut, potentially, because I did go for double houses uh, as an opening. I was thinking to myself... I, I, I forgot this map's quite good for the stagecoach because you can get another one and then get a stagecoach on it, which can be quite nice. Um, he just... Yeah, he, I didn't know where he was actually hunting. Like, he had one here... But, like, I swear, like, I was more out on the map than he was. But maybe my herding was just bad. I don't know. Um, I always anticipate that he was going to go H3. And, and I did have quite a good fight here. But the thing is, it's under double blockhouse, man. That is the problem. Um, it's really hard to fight under this. And I did have a really good engagement. I actually cleared up all of his units. It was pretty, pretty mad. I didn't think I would. Even he popped CM as well, um, or he pop, popped town militia. And I still actually cleared up a lot of his army there. But then there was a batch of cav that came, and, and, and the Cossacks are the real problem, I think. Um, also, like, my macro was a bit off. Um, I think I did okay with villager creation, though. I didn't do too bad. Like, I was actually with him, uh, and then obviously aging up meant that you kind of was behind and then you know before you know it he's 
I, I, I should have just tried to play him in H2, I guess. Um, we could go around his base uh, and clean out his houses. Yeah, potentially. Like, he's got quite a lot of houses here, but... Yeah, that rather than going in, yeah, I could have just gone around, I guess, after that engagement, maybe, rather than pushing in here. Just gone around. Yeah. Yeah, you have to contain and keep him off hunts. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I as I say, I am in two ways about whether I like to age up fast with Aztec into H2 or whether I go slow. Normally, I, I guess what you should do, like, really, if you open up with a TP, you kind of want a fast age. But you can do it like I did it. it. It worked quite well. Like, we just built two houses. I definitely overchopped. I overchopped unnecessarily um, when I got into H2. I didn't have enough villagers on food. I should have had enough food to then be able to then get coyotes. So you kind of want to macro a little bit so you can get a coyote pop out early and then you can get yourself on, on the battlefield. But I, I think I did okay. For, I mean, I haven't played Aztec in quite a while um, and it wasn't a complete stomp. Uh, military unit population. Yeah, like it was. it's just insane at this point, you can see. But I mean, th this is where we actually, like this is the point where we had that really good engagement. And then I thought I was winning. Like, I thought I was doing so well here. I had um, Pike with Coyotes, and I rammed them into the... Um, and I had some Slingers behind as well. And I I put them into the Cossacks, but I honestly... It just didn't do as much. I think he may have, like, targeted my Spearman a lot more with his Strelitz. And I was very confident that I would win that engagement, but I actually didn't. And that was unfortunate. So that might have just been poor micro. Village account was 32. 32 vills. I did go for a 5 vill shipment. Main thing is having fun. Yeah, they do have a good advantage early in H2. I They do okay against civs that don't do well in H2. Like, Russia is really tricky because I guess the best way is to go fast fortress against Russia, I think. Potentially, but I, I really don't like that play. But I think that's a potential play. I, I don't really know how to fast fortress with Aztec. I'm going to be honest. Um, I think some people like send maybe, well, they immediately send 600 coin, right? And then they, they age up and then they go for like eight villages. And then they get some pop, get some eco and then start making shipments. But yeah. Fun is not important. We must improve and win the tournament. What tournament? Uh, the link is down below in the description. It's uh, the Caverna Combat 3 tournament. So, yeah. It's a tournament. I actually entered the first ever Caverna Combat tournament, and I won it. So, uh, yeah. But uh, back then, there wasn't a huge amount of interest for it. But I did win the first combat tournament. You want to face me? Well, just watch what I do because I'm playing right now. Um, I am playing the sibs that I kind of want to play. I want to sponsor you. Would you hit me up for advice on map? match up some maps you can win it i believe in you cheers brian thanks man i know that it must be quite difficult trying to coach me and stuff like that you know i just come to the realization that i just don't play the game enough i honestly don't like i've played it i've played a thousand hours on it since it came out you know and a lot of that time is me casting games and actually doing stuff like that so you know i i don't play this game religiously i don't play it every day I, I probably actually play ranked once a week i'm gonna be honest with you and a lot of the other time i am casting i'm just enjoying people sending me replays i'm casting stuff I, I love the the meta and strategy at the moment out there and i like to sort of cast that get that out there to you guys so you can enjoy it 
I enjoy doing it. You guys enjoy watching it. Well, most of you guys enjoy watching it, I hope. Um, and yeah, that's the kind of realization that I've that I've come to. And not to get annoyed. And it's like, it's not the end of the world. Like, so what? I lose Zelo, you know. I mean, I was like all het up on like, I want to improve, I want to improve. And yeah, it's great. It's great improving. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's always nice to improve. Uh, what we are going to do actually just with Aztec is I might put in this card. This card could be quite good. But I think this card is only good if you go if you are thinking about Warrior Priest play. Um, I do like I do like um, Olivez's kind of where you get the big button from the community plaza. So you build one house and you get the big button from the community plaza that gives you more XP. So then you get even better XP with your Explorer. And I always seem to lose my Explorer as well. And I've really got to keep a lid on that. Um, but yeah. But welcome everyone, by the way. 30 viewers in. Fantastic to see you all here. Thank you so much. We're going to continue with some Aztec play. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I did post a video not too long ago on the channel. Uh, Aztec actually of Izad playing Aztec against Frontline that was really fun to watch um, that was really really nice I enjoyed watching that so uh, yeah we're just going to play some Aztec we're going to try some different things we might try a TP play like a Kinesi TP play where we basically just take over the, the trade line um, the trade post line we basically ship double warhut, I think. And then you ship 700 wood. I believe. I think it's that anyway. I'll have to watch it again. I'll have to, I keep constantly trying to watch the, remember it and, and watch the video. So I don't actually remember. Um, I can never find it. It's the one that I did where, yeah, he is back, baby. Let me just have a quick look. I oh, know he actually doesn't. I think he just ships. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Come on, Come on, Come Commandsi, <laughs> Oh, that's good. I don't think we actually need to ship. Uh... Wow, he's already gone over here. So against France. Interesting. I think also just going spear opening with this is actually quite good. I don't know how he actually already did that, but whatever. Yeah, I don't think we can take that. We definitely don't want to lose our explorer to to nonsense, so let's not do that. Come on, what's that? That's really annoying. Oh no, we haven't got some annoying play, have we? Get that one. Hoi! Command. 
I think we might be able to get this one out. Nice. So look at that XP. We're not even in the next age yet. And because of this, I'm probably just going to go for a... I don't know whether I'm going to go for a fast stage up, actually. I don't know yet. Oh. I haven't actually walked through the map yet. Uh, we're not going to. We are going to get some vills on gold, though. Oh no! That is a shame. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Uh... Yeah, he's going natives. Yeah, we're going to need to switch this up. I don't even know what the natives are, but let's just go double. Yeah, get off there. Start doing that. Get a spearman in queue. Let's go. Oh, damn it. Got about the old houses. You always forget about the old houses. It's not good. Oh god, that's gonna set me back big time. Come up. That was good. Oh, 
Wow. He does it, ladies and gents. He holds off the might of Widgey. Oh, no, 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 Iku. <laughs> No, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that. Command <laughs> Just trying to see if there's anything that we can actually physically raid here. There is something over there. We'll see if we can get that. Nice. <laughs> I tell you what, coyote runners are just crap, aren't they? 
Like, what am I meant to do in this situation? I've just got to, like... Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. So bad. Ah! Oh, it's because my fucking keyboard's changed. Yeah, it's just... I mean, he was just... He was sending out all different kind of bills. Like, he went for he went for the native, but he didn't actually do anything with the natives. I'm very confused. Like, he didn't actually do any native tech, did he? He didn't send... Like, he didn't send Berber camels. He, like, he used... The, oh, yeah. He, oh, the villagers. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's really good. Fuck's sake. The Berber villagers... Why not raid with Coyote? I mean, I did try to. I, I actually went here and I didn't know that all of his veals were here. I just don't raid enough. I just stay in base. I need to get out there and actually try and do something. Yeah, I just... Uh, I just didn't have enough units, sadly. Uh, I, As I say, I did a different kind of opening there. I went, I went for the XP, which I think was really nice. I had two shipments ready to go. I think maybe I should have just fast aged. Did I fast age? I don't think I did. Wow, minus 18. Holy crap. Uh, did I fast age? No, I didn't. I did not. What's my uh, win? I've got a five loss streak at the moment. Wow, that's brutal. Try a bit more Aztec. Hey, Harrison, how you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Time for some surprise China. I could play China, couldn't I? Just why not? No, we're trying to play a bit of Aztec again today because it's one of the sieves that I'm going to be playing in the tournament, so I actually need to play them a bit more. But I'm just not very good. I just keep making... I think it's just making stupid decisions a lot of the time. Like, I'm, I, I just don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I, I should just raid a bit more or... You know, I, I didn't know that he was going to get Cav, for example, in that last game. So, you know, why Aztec? Um, you are investing a lot into your attack. Time with other oh, Mayan Musketeers. That's an old school thing. China is easier and better tournament sieve. Well, I've already like the thing is with this tournament is I don't I don't personally agree with it, but you have to lock in your sieves like beforehand. You saw Kinesi playing or what? Like other Aztecs go warrior priests. Um, I mean the warrior priests. The the thing is the warrior priests. The whole thing around that is ideally you want to do that if if you're going for like an age three, like if you're going for uh, like a fast fortress or something like you used to, because the, ner because the worry priest took quite a big nerf, um, it's difficult because they took a nerf. The XP rate isn't as much. You also, the cow card also had a nerf. So you don't receive a warrior priest for the cow So sometimes it used to be good to basically go for a five warrior priest age two play where, you go for three warrior priests and then you have the cow macaque, you have the three warrior priest card, and then you have the warrior priest that you start with. So you would have five. But the cow macaque now, you, all it's used for is just to improve your age up time, which is just kind of a waste of a card, really, in my eyes. Um, yeah. Even getting three, so you have four, should pay off pretty fast. Yeah, but it is a use of a card, though. That's the thing. I, I, I don't think... 
I don't think it's... I think maybe later in the game when you do run out of cards, if you're playing Age 2 still and you run out of cards, then fine, yeah, send three Warrior Priests. But I honestly don't think that it's it's a viable card to send, like, really early on. I think there's just better cards. You do get a return on investment, you do. But, like, for example, you could get ship five Vils instead, which, have you know, have has now been added. So, like, or it's been... A, uh, was it four Vils before and now it's five Vils? Yeah. Yeah, it depends on your style, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Better than shipping units. When the rush failed. Yeah. Always been five, just saying your style is very aggressive. Yeah, like I... Well, I as I say, with Aztec, I like to play the Mage 2 most of the time. That's the thing. And there is, a, obviously, Fast Fortress plays you can do with them. But um, a lot of the time, I like to just play in the game. I don't really... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know a proper Fast Fortress strat with, with Aztec, to be honest. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't really like it that much. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to try again. Uh, the TC big button is good, yeah. It's is good button. Yeah, it's yeah, the TC button is good. I I, I like it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I only play once a week, so I don't expect me to improve if I'm if I'm only going to play the game once a week. And honestly, like, this is the first time I'm playing this game this week. You know, like I play other games at the moment. Like, I've kind of got back in. I've gotten back into Dota quite a bit. I'm gotten into the roguelike games, so I've been playing Hades because Hades Two is coming out, and I recently bought Hades and really enjoying it. Really nice, nice game. I like. I like the. Oh. Roguelike elements. Oh. If you do know what that game is, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we could go fast age up here depending on how much experience we get. There is a trade line that's quite nice, so we might be able to take advantage of that. Dota 2 rank? Uh, I'm not even ranked yet. Can you believe it? So I've got about 10 more games left before I'm ranked. I used to play uh, Heroes of New Earth quite a lot, like Hon. Uh, and I used to... I have played Dota a lot before they brought their matchmaking in. Um, where you had to... Yeah, so I've, I've never really... Yeah, I haven't really played that that much. But I, I've played a few hundred hours on the game. But I am quite... Uh, I do enjoy MOBAs. I don't really like League of Legends. I've never really got into League of Legends. 
to be honest with you. It's been a game that hasn't really interested me that much, personally. Wrecked. Nice, we'll take that. And with that, we will age. Now, I don't like all all of the vills to actually go over because we still we, we need to get a vill in queue, so... There we go, there's the vill in queue. No. I haven't actually checked his deck. Okay. I actually completely forgot that we were playing against Ottomans, so this is going to be uh, say interessant, I think. Where's the market? Did I build a market? Maybe I didn't. Yeah, this could be a problem. Oh, 
I say, Pantne, I cast Ku, Ok, Ku, I cast Ku, Pantne, Ash Ku, Pantne, Ku, Ash Ku, Ku, Ok, I Ku, Ok, Ash Ku, Ash Ku. He hasn't actually got maps, so looks like we're going down a potentially different route. Okay, we're gonna wait for the double noble hut and then we're gonna start to make like ERKs basically and slingers. That's gonna be the uh, the way. No, that is not the way. It's okay. Oh, need to do this. Just one of these games, isn't it? Yeah, Arrow Knights as well, yeah. I mean, he's just... There's my Noble Hearts. Uh, well, I, I kind of wanted. Okay, that's not good. Oh, 
Ork. Madne, Gomashku. Madne, Gomashku. Gomanche, Oku. Gomanche, Iku. Gomak, Oku. Van Ork. Van Iku. Ork. Van Oku. Ork. 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 Gomanche. Gomanche. Ork. Gomanche. Vatni. Iku. Oh, much coin. Oh, I don't really know what to go here. Like, yeah, I know Arrow Knight's on Falx, yeah, but he's just going to scale now because he's got three TCs on villagers and I just can't do anything. Like, he's got way more eco than I do, so... What I'm trying to do is... Oh my god, I've just walked them in again. Oh, terrible. That was a complete fucking... Once again, I, I just... My eye just... One second. One second gonna lose this guy like this guy's just i just know this guy's bad I just know it. but maybe i'm bad it's okay it's okay wait it's not okay we've lost completely lost there's, there's just no way video just can't fucking hurt so yeah it's over <sighs> GG. Well, no, it's not. It's not the fact that I didn't make villagers and I got behind. It's the fact that he's got three CCs making villagers. So like, I can't do anything. I don't think the. I don't think the only problem is villager production. I gen genuinely do not think that. I think it's the fact that you know when Otto just gets these TCs, they just make villagers out of them for free. So. Yeah, look, village account. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> but still, though, that I I still don't think if I made villagers, like that it that it would make a great deal here. Honestly. Um. Yeah. Lack of a game plan. Yeah, I, I true. I I don't know how to play this. I don't know. Like I I kind of uh, sort of rushed it. I. Went for a TP opening, which didn't really work out because I realized that I can't get the third TP. So 
there's no real point in doing that. So that was a bit strange for me to do that. Um, yeah, don't really know. I think you need to think about your Civ to play. What do you mean? Two CP was good. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it was. I don't think it was that good. Um, yeah, I think I stayed there way too long trying to commit to take the TCs down. Um, I probably should have gone spear a bit earlier, maybe. But Otto need TP. Yeah, but I mean, he only needs one. And and because of this map, I'm never going to get this one down here. Especially seeing as he had another TC here. I just don't think. I just don't think it's possible. To be honest. By the way, if you are enjoying the stream, make sure to drop a like, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who's here. Uh, I don't really know what I fancy doing right now. I don't really have any real e eagerness to play another game, to be honest. Um, I'm not actually annoyed. I'm just kind of just like a bit meh. Doesn't really bother me whether I continue or not. I mean, look at all these Falks. I mean, it's just a fucking joke. He's got like 10 Falks. <laughs> this guy, man. This guy. Need coaching? Yeah, but coaching only goes so far. I've had a lot of coaching with a lot of people and yeah, I, I coaching is good if you if you really if you want to play a lot of games afterwards, if you want to keep at it. Like for me, as I say, like I don't play this game enough. I don't know, honestly, I think I think entering the tournament was just a bit silly to be honest because I just don't play this game that much. Um to be honest. Just keep playing. Yeah, could do. Yeah, you never play. Yeah, it's true. I don't play. I don't play that much. So I can't expect to jump into a save that I haven't played in a while. I expect to win. Get some China going. Yeah, but I'm I'm I just I'm telling you, like, for the tournament, I haven't selected China, so I can't play China. This is the thing. You have to this is what I don't get so much with a tournament. Like you have to basically let them know what your first and last sieve pick is um what it, and it has to be that sieve so uh the games are on sunday uh i selected uh aztec and hauser i think it was yeah it's pre-select uh the the middle game isn't so the first is and the last last game is so you have to play those two regardless um yeah i get we don't have to worry too much but i haven't played china in ages so i have no idea what i'm doing it's been a while and i prob probably don't uh yeah i i as i say i could just play the easier sieves like the, the more straightforward sieves to learn like like Otto and maybe France. France, sort of. Maybe not. But, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, because Harrison's here, we can do... Um, we can do... I don't know why my camera is so bad today. It's really annoying. I don't know why it does that. Maybe I can sort it out. No. I'd have to, like, restart the camera. I don't know why it gets this low FPS. Um... Yeah, Aztec and Hauser are strong, but there's a lot of variables. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like, Inca is one. Inca is one that I've played quite a bit. China, I really haven't played that much recently. So, um, I don't honestly know how I would how I would play China. So, Harrison, let me know. Like, just if you're in chat, how do I play China these days? 
I guess you don't go for Summer Palace, right? Or do you? Yeah, you don't go Temple of Haven anymore because that's been nerfed. So you basically go Summer Palace uh, and then you go French cons, ship the food, that kind of dealio. So, yeah, you, you've got to hit up that voice call. Ah, uh, I just, not not to be annoying, but I just, like, I just can't be asked. Is that bad? I, I honestly, I'm just not in the mood to, to be on a voice call. French cons or Russian cons. Okay. Uh, we can try it, but most likely it's just going to be like a fast fortress. Yeah, Russia. Uh, yeah, as I say, I used to go for the Russian FF because it was a bit nicer. We could do it. We could try it. I haven't played them in ages, though, so. Your opponent does not see your selected sieves. All right, okay. I mean, if the, if my opponent is watching, which he most likely will might be, he'll uh, he'll he'll know what my sieves are. But I guess he's already locked in his sieves as well. Yeah, yeah, you have it rather than just yeah, yeah. Of course, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, trust me, like I know, I know. There's like you have a plan and all that kind of stuff. I get it. I do. I do. Uh, yeah, I do. I understand, history boy. I do. I get it. I know it's not just a build order, but obviously. You know, it's you need to have an idea of how you're going to achieve what you're going to achieve, and that is your build order. Yes, you have a plan of like, okay, what am I going to do? What's my sieve match up? What's their deck? What can I expect? And obviously, you adjust to that. Um, yeah, but as I say, with China, like I, I used to play China quite a bit actually, to be fair, and I got up to like thirteen fifty with them or something like quite a, a few months ago. Uh, and they were quite a nice sieve. Same with India as well. Both quite nice sieves that I enjoy playing. But as I say, it's been a while. Um, it's been a while since I played. Oh God, Otto again. Um, it's been a while since I played them. So. Do we go TP here or do we go house? First question of the day. Oh, I've already gone wrong. Rip. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to have to play H2 now. Oh. Cheers, the street boy. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I think it's safe to say that. What the fuck is going on? Let's get this down. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is always TP first. Thank you, Perfuma, for the uh, for the subscription, man. If you're watching. Thanks for the uh, subscription to the channel. Appreciate it. Ah, oh, I've gone for the wrong thing there, I think. Oh no. The man she's in. Can we get round? Three. I think we'll probably just be on the safe side here and go for the blockhouse rather than the 300 food. Rather. Okay. 
We barely explored anything of the map. Oh. Was he seen? Oh, let's just wait here. Oh. Yeah. See why. What a legend. Sorry. <laughs> I think we're going to leave it here. Um, 13 seems strange. But, uh, whatever. I feel like something's definitely happened. Like, this should be... Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I take the wolf. Wolf. Go find things for me. I actually haven't looked at the deck, to be honest. What the hell is this? Sneaky assassins. Good against mercenaries. All right, we'll bear that in mind. Won't be shipping Manchu uh, too early. Okay, let's go for that. Grab that. Bada bing, bada boom. Ottoman SP. What's SP? I don't know what that means. Must be I'm a noob. Oh, it's the spy, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, three sheep. Okay, it's quite a Ford Rax. What did you find? A strange... Ah. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, we didn't get that up quick enough. Uh, and that's really unfortunate as well. To do it. Oh dear. This uh, isn't looking too good. Wait, what the hell was that? No, 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 don't get him back for that. Oh, I'm actually getting his delis down. I can take that. Problem is, we lost our explorer, which is kind of crucial. I don't think we can actually do anything. Because we're not even aging up right now. I don't think there's anything I can do. Um... GG. We didn't get the blockhouse up. We lost our explorer, so we couldn't defend. Yeah, it's GG. This is why I don't like fast fortresses. So, yeah. This is why we don't like fast fortresses. Well, to be fair, I forgot about my blockhouse, so...
Yeah, the rack should have been behind, yeah. Might have been able to. I mean, it's tricky. Yeah, I popped them way too early, yeah. And also my Explorer. If I had my Explorer and I trained all of the Disciples, I could potentially try and fend it off. And I nearly had my first pop from my standard army, but I don't know when, when, when like they go in that deep, you kind of need to be aging. Like I've, I don't know whether I was slow. I felt like I was pretty good. Like I mined perfectly for 300 coin. I guess I didn't go for the TP first. So my XP was a bit behind. So like I should have maybe if I spotted this, maybe rather than going for the 700 wood, I should have gone for a unit shipment. Maybe. And then the unit shipment coupled with the Minutemen and the da-da-da and the da-da-da. I could have held it off and then potentially maybe got an into H3 and then won the game. But yeah, quite a few things went wrong there, I think. Unfortunately. We are just not getting a win today. To be fair, playing China, I haven't played China in ages. I don't, I don't really know why I did that. But um, yeah, we're just losing ELO today because we want to lose ELO. That's what it's about. You're pretty insane at micro. Oh, I don't think I am. I appreciate it, but I don't think I am. Yeah, I know. I know. Stick to a sieve. The reason that I'm, the reason that I'm not playing one sieve at the moment is because of the tournament. Yeah, like the tournament. I I need to know like three sieves really. Uh, instead of collecting too much gold, you should have collected wood for War Academy. Yeah, but we you don't normally do that with the Fast Fortress. So with the Fast Fortress strat, you don't normally collect any wood. You simply just collect 300 coin, you age up, you ship 700 coin, and then you ship 700 wood behind it normally so that then you can put your infrastructure down. So... Obviously, if you're getting pushed, then you switch up the 700 wood normally for a unit shipment, and then you do a timing attack where you try and hold hold the rush, basically. Um, but he, he knew me well. He was like, yeah, this kid's going to go fast fortress. I'm just going to try and rush him and see what happens. And he did a good job, and he sieged my blockhouse before I got it up. And that was a pretty big oof. So, um, yeah. Any requests for a civilization? Seeing as we seem to be playing all different civs today. Any requests? Please say so now. By the way, once again, I know I always keep saying it, but thank you so much for everyone that's on here right now. Thank you for everyone. We've got like 40 viewers in here most of the time. Really, really good. Um, why is everyone saying Dutch, man? Can you do a British? Uh, Hauser, yeah, I could I could probably do a Hauser and get a W. Yeah, I probably could. To, to break my morale, I probably need to play a Hauser. And then what, uh, what will happen is I'll probably lose. Let's play a Hauser because, once again, it's one of my civs that I've played quite a bit. And it was the civ that actually got me the highest. It got me, like to 1440 but that obviously i was being coached by bram a bit so i was being boosted by bram a bit there but that got me the highest elo that i've ever got i've i've no i've i've been at 1490 or something like that i was i was one win off of getting 1500 at one point so um see harrison with the house is plus two is this why i don't want to play it this is literally it because like I feel like it's not a real achievement if I play this Civ because of how strong they are. Like, that's how I feel about it, honestly. Like, it is a fun Civ, but it is a strong, very strong Civ. And I feel kind of cheap um, winning with it. Does that make sense? I have some dignity, you know? Play touch. Weak as fuck. <laughs> uh, someone said British, but I mean, me, myself, and I have never played 
uh, has not have not played Britain in a very long time. So I don't think I'm going to play them. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go for Aztecs again. I think I, I want to make them work. I, I want to. What the hell's going on, man? Um, let me see. I'm just going to quickly see Lop's video because Lop did a video on one second. Lop did a video, and I just want to see. Oh, it's, this thing's not on there, man. There it is. Okay, let me just quickly see. One second. So he goes he goes for a fast age up. This is like a contained strategy. So he goes for a fast age up. And then yeah, he basically just has majority on food actually. So then he can get his big button. Yeah, and he's he's like built two houses. I think he's built two houses. Yeah. Drops two houses. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Yeah, okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> the same rush that he's doing for three years. Like, the thing is, like, Lop said to me, he said, like, he said, you can rush with Aztec and get 1700 ELO. Like, if you just play and just constantly play H2 with Aztec and, and do nothing else, you will get to a certain point. And then, obviously, you'll get to a point where it'll become harder and harder and there'll be certain matchups where you might need to play water, you might need to play longer, you might need to play for a fast fortress, or you might need to go, like, a semi-FF style with them. So it's not all rainbows, sunshine and rainbows. Is that the right term? Sunshine and Rainbows. Um, by the way, thank you so much for everyone that has been on the YouTube channel recently. Um, it's been doing very well. I've been casting games that I really enjoy. And I've got another kind of big matchup coming in the next few weeks for you guys that I'm trying to arrange. So um, I'm just really happy that you guys are here. Of course, I'm sorry. I'm not the best player. I'm not even a good player. I'm so sorry that you have to watch this but um a lot of people do ask for it that they do like to see me playing and uh, i do enjoy it i know that it might come across a bit strange to you guys um especially some of you that have seen me uh like who have seen me super rage but um you know i i do actually enjoy enjoy the game I do actually enjoy it. Most of the time, I enjoy playing the game. Like A lot of the time, I like 1v1s simply because I like the competitiveness. I, I, I love that. I love playing against someone of, of similar skill um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. You're new here? Oh, fantastic. Welcome. By the way, the game is free to play. Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition is free to play. Of course, you don't get access to everything within the game, but you get access to a free civilization rotation you get three civs that you can play with friends you can play part of the campaign so you can actually get a real good idea of how the game plays if you enjoy it and if you do then of course by all means it's up to you go ahead and grab the game so there we go if you didn't know So we're just going to continue with what we're doing. Um, I will need to at some point learn like a either a semi-fast fortress or a fast fortress strategy with, with Aztec. Um, oh, okay. You're, okay, right. No, uh, you're new to the channel. Wow. Welcome. I'm very surprised that you are. I'm not trying to... Because there's, there's not a huge amount of content creators like that are still making content for Age of Empires 3. So I'm very surprised that it took you this long to uh to find me oh this is i know who this is this is more Lazan, isn't it is he literally q snipe me oh my god it is Fuck. 
I bet he's like, yay, he, he's, he's going to kick me. Uh, <laughs> We are playing against my good friend Morlazan. And he's been playing quite a bit, actually. I am quite scared. Not gonna lie. He has been really getting on the game recently, so... Um, yeah. And I don't really know how he plays Inca, but I'm quite scared because he beat uh, someone else. He beat uh, Crispy. Um, who... Who is um, like a fifteen hundred player? So, nope, definitely don't want that. So uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. But I really need to concentrate here because I need to get I need to get the treasures. It's the whole reason that we do this. Now, what would Morlazan go for? I wonder. Why are we so slow? Come on. Keep moving. Command yeah, Normally fifteen villagers is what you want to be on. Let's get the swashbuckler here. He's a bit more tanky, I think. Oh, bollocks. I, d I selected the wrong person. Anyway, 75 wood is huge. Can we take this on? Yes, Potentially not. We'll have to see. Huge. Basically got ourselves so much wood here. It's nuts. Yeah, I'm going to go for the fast age up. Come on. I do. There it is. Oh, <sighs> 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 Oh, 
Why are you hurting it the wrong way? Can we talk about that? Yeah, something's gone wrong because I'm definitely a lot slower. Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened with the barracks and why we were uh, so slow there. So we're just going to scrape past that and just ignore it. Yeah, using the wood crate to build the barracks. Yeah, potentially. Do I even know where my opponent is? I think I do. Way too many bills on here. See you, Harrison. Take care, mate. Has he got a... He hasn't got something, has he? Yeah, I was thinking about that actually. We can send the coin next, definitely. Yeah, we'll send the coin next. Oh, 
Mantne, Oh my god, have we not got He's probably not going to be hunting that much because he's uh, just in base. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to just get these noble huts down and then we're going to get on with it. GG. Nice game, Molazan. Molazan. Very nice game. I'm actually quite proud of myself that I decided to age up. Like, I actually went age three. Like, he knows me. Morlisan knows me. That whatever I do, I always play age, age, uh, age two. Uh, 
macro is better and you win easy. Yeah, like I actually felt really good about that, honestly. Uh, I felt good about the decision. I had a good engagement, a good fight. Um, and then I basically, that was strange. What the hell? Sorry about that. All of my screens just went completely, completely dark there. Were you all right? That was a bit of a blip there in my electricity. That was kind of weird. Yeah, so I, I felt really good there. I had a good engagement, and then I decided not to overcommit because obviously the war huts. So going age three is better, and I shipped seven arrow knights. I think I need to change my age three. I, I, I don't really like it. I don't have... Um, I mean, I've got the knight combat. I, do I need knight hit points as well? I don't know. Um, I think I need to get the Eagle Runner Knight support card rather than the Jaguar one. I think nine Jags is fine. But, um, yeah. I think the Arrow Knights is a nice oh, shipment. I like the say? Arrow Knights. Seven Arrow Knights. I think that can be really good. Yeah, what happened with the wood? What did I do wrong with the wood? Can you talk me through what I did wrong? I, I, I don't know what I did wrong with it. Um, something went wrong. Like, uh, maybe... D is it because I... Instead of building that... I built two houses with the wood. I should have just chopped and then put a war hut down, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. But hang on a minute. One sec. I was... Hang on. Let me just see Lop. Lop. I'm just looking at Lop and see what he does. Because he... Hang on, I just want to see what is open. He goes for 700 wood and 5 vils, right? Let me see what his age up is. So he gets that. Nice. Oh, he does a slow age up. I'm such an idiot. He goes for a slow age up, I believe. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. So he puts in the in, he does a slow age up. He does the war hut travois age up. That's what he does. Yeah. So that's why it all went wrong because I did a fast age up and then I didn't have enough time. I, I built houses instead, but I had one hundred ninety wood. So what I actually could have done is gone for a fast age up, dropped a war hut, waited for seven hundred wood, and then built houses, and I would have had a, a lot earlier then. But normally, if you go fast age in age two. It either means that you're doing it because you want to take the TP line because you've opened up with a TP or it means that you want to do, you know, something else. But we just had we just had so much eco, I think. Uh, and we did quite well because we um, we destroyed a couple of his canches as well, which was really nice. Um, and plus 14, we got out of our we got out of our loss streak, which is nice. Yeah. But I felt pretty good about that, to be honest. Um, I'm just watching what uh, Lop kind of does here. Yeah, he kind of then, when he's in age two, he starts to then mine the gold for the macro to get to get Spearman, basically. So that the minute his war hut is up, he's got Spearman. And then he, he actually shipping resource crates. I think that's the thing, man. I think that's the way. <laughs> which is fa oh william william which is fantastic just needs to work on producing villagers build order scouting raiding micro game plan strategy resource management game knowledge well hang on game knowledge i've got pretty good game knowledge come on yeah my food went off the chain. I don't know what was going on. Like, I needed to drop another war hut or I needed to age up. I think that's what was going on there. Like, I felt like I was, I, I just couldn't create enough units from what I was doing. I felt like my eco was insane there. Something was really strange with that game. Something was, I, I, it was a really strange game for me. I was very concerned that I was going to get raided. That's something that Morlazan, if he is watching, um, I would recommend is try raiding. Because Chimus are an absolute nightmare. So if if I have the upper hand, try and raid me. Um, so yeah, I I would go for that. It's just eco. The rest is way better. 
Yeah, I just want to quickly see, like, my eco. See, my eco wasn't as good as Morlazan's. See, he had better eco. He did. I think it was just the... Um, I think it was the decision of fighting and stuff like that wasn't the best for him. I understand why he pushed out when I aged up, but the problem is, is I aged up with double noble hut, so he'd have to fight under two war huts, double noble hut, and then I've got a card ready to go, and I was making units in transition as well, so... Yeah, I must have. Village account. I mean, mine's quite... Mine is... Look, mine here is as bad as his is at exactly the same time. Look at that. How weird. Exactly the same time, me and him forget to make villages or we're pop capped. That's so strange. Yeah, so when I fast aged, it was like sub four minutes, yeah. But you, I mean, it wasn't a semi fast fortress, but it was a kind of interest, interesting strategy. Yeah, unspent resources. Yeah, there was a lot of resources there that Morlazan had. I think he should, he should have just aged. To be honest, he took. I took quite a bad fight in the middle of his base that I probably shouldn't have done too much. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go, guys, because I'm gonna have to cook dinner. I'm cooking dinner tonight. Normally, my my girlfriend cooks dinner most of the time, but I am actually doing it today. Um, so I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. But I'm really happy that we actually we we finished. We finished on a win. So I'm actually quite happy about that. Even though we we lost quite a few before, uh, we got that win in. And I actually enjoy playing Aztec there. It was quite fun. So, um, yeah. We're definitely going to play them a, a lot more. And, yeah, that was awesome. Right, guys. I will catch you in the next video or the next stream on my channel. Before you do go, please just drop a like. Please drop a like on this stream. It really, really helps. The algorithm it helps get this stream out there so other people can watch it after it is finished. This will be a past live stream for you to watch. So it will be a VOD that you can watch on my channel. So hopefully you guys can check that out if you have missed anything. Thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later, guys. Peace out.